Hello everyone, my name is Jerry and today I'm going to build something from Stargate. Right, so what I decided to do was this. I always wanted to build this. It's uh, Ronan Dex's blaster from Stargate Atlantis. Uh, I just found a random picture online, enlarged it. I, I'm almost sure that it's way too big for what it's supposed to be, but I scaled it to fit my hand. Might have scaled it a bit too big. I have some, uh, some pictures here. This is a 3D, um, 3D design of it, I'm guessing. Taylor Lancaster, wherever that is. I just found it randomly online. That's some good details on it, so I know where I'm, what I'm building and so on and so on. That's where I got the picture off. That's the normal size of it, and I just enlarged it to what I wanted. I kind of wanted to cover all my bases. I've been thinking about it, sitting in the room, just thinking about what I, how, I, how I'm gonna build it. And what I did was, I scaled it to my hand, but I also scaled it to, because I have these dowels. I think they're 40, I'll check with my uh, calibers here. Yeah, 50 mil. So I scanned, scaled it to 50 mil. <laughs> which is going to be the chamber part, whatever the hell that is. And then I have an EVA foam dowel, not dowel, a uh, sphere that I got online. And I chopped the top of it off, or half chopped it in half. And I'm going to glue that onto the bottom of it. So that'll be that there. I'm going to have, this is the dowel that I have. I'm going to put that through the middle of it. Uh, and then I, that'll be, so that's through the middle, then that'll be in there. So that'll go all the way through there to keep the middle of the structure of it and then I'm going to cut the handle part out of this and then wrap it with foam. That's the plan anyway. So I'm just going to cut out the basic rough shape of this and then this is going to sit in the middle of it. And I want to cut this out first so I can, if, if need, things need to be adjusted or anything like that, I can adjust it later. And the last time I tried to Cut out um what's this one called? PVC? I think it's a PVC. Cope and saw. This is gonna be a nightmare. Because <laughs> I what did I do last time? It looks like there's a bit of plastic on the front. Oh there is a I never knew that. There's plastic on one side of it. I'm just gonna try and do my best here. I mean, it's only PVC or polystyrene or whatever the fuck. Oh, no, I can't remember. I think it's PVC. Let's clean up a bit. And by clean up a bit, I mean throw it on the floor. I need to get my drill out because I need to drill a couple of holes in here. He's on the way out, and I can hear this. This is guesswork again. <laughs> don't ever assume that I know what I'm doing. I don't. Right. It's not too bad. I'm gonna get a little bit of sand and action going on it. Gonna have to sand the outside of it anyway, so that it'll stick better to the to the glue or to the glue to the uh, the foam. As I was saying, as I alluded to earlier on, I I made it too big, but I scaled it to like the, the dowel and my hand, right? The foam dowel I have in my hand. We also have other bits here. I've got more dowels that are gonna probably go in bits, and I have this chunk of phone that I got in an arcade machine. I ordered an arcade machine. This was all in it, so I kept it. And I have other bits and bobs of smaller pieces here. And the plan was to use all of them to kind of get to the right place, like, you know? Right, let me explain something to you as well before I go any further. 
the way I scaled it right is where is this? So if you if I measure this right, that is 18.7, let's just say 19. Multiply that by three, so this is three times the size of that, so we know the scales of it. This is 53, 18 by three is 54. So give or take, it's three times what this is, right? So every part on this, I can measure this bit and then multiply it by three to get it the right size, if that makes sense. So. If I look at the handle back here, there's the handle before it's wrapped. It is eight millimeter, and eight by three is yeah, 24 hours, right? So that means that if this is three mil, then I need to add on 21 mil. So I'm thinking two 10 mils on each side of this will be the right size for the handle. What I'm going to do for this now, I'm going to glue this on first and then I'll show you how I got my um, how to get the middle of a circle this little ingenious device that I did not invent but found online made one myself. So basically this thing just a couple of bits of wood, uh, wood glue, some screws, right? 90 degree angle here, and then a bit of wood going straight out. This is 45, and then straight out, right? And then you can place any circular object in the middle of it. You take one line here, and you rotate it, and you rotate it again, down there. Bam, there's your center. And then I'm going to drill a thing in the middle of that. That'll go as far as I can through it. I'll probably put super glue or maybe a bit of Gorilla Glue or something in there. And then I'll contact cement them, them two together. And that'll be my barrel or bullet chamber or whatever the hell you call it. Before I start filming this, I was sitting in here for about in two hours just contemplating to myself how I was going to make it. Like I had dowels and bits of cat toys and the cat toy one. Oh, I really wanted to put the cat toy into it but too small. I need to cut out two of these. I'm going to overcut them a little bit as well like before. This bit in here I'll cut perfect but the outside I'll overcut them and then I'll just cut it to size. I'm kind of bummed out about Dublin Comic Con that I didn't get me Batman finished. Looking forward to it. But should look, always another day. Maybe next year. Whether that or I go to England. And uh, like in November, there's a couple of cons, and we go to England in November. I mean, it'll all be sanded anyway, so what else? I know, best we can. Yeah, and I'm gonna do that in there. Right, I'm gonna have to get my mask out because I'm gonna do a bit more glue. But see, that's what I mean by you see it on the camera, I overcut it, so that means I can cut, um, cut it back so it'll be closer. Now that I have my smell back, don't miss the smell of bleeding contact cement rotten. What I'm doing is I'm just running the knife along the plastic bit so it's trying to cut. I mean. I know there's like kind of weird jagged bits here, but if you run it along the edge of the plastic, it will cut it as close as I can to the plastic, and then you can just trim it down or sand it down. And I'm not overly worried, there's jagged bits and whatnot. That's what the Dremel is for. Right, now, I think what I need to do next is get a hole drilled in here for the dowel. It's going okay. It's not far enough. I think I need to go. Oh, let's do that again. 
to the microphone. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm, that's very perfect. So, more mess that I made. And a New York of Gorilla Glue. So I'm gonna Gorilla Glue that in there with some, oh, I can't get over that. So, I'm so childish. that a few times before I uh, <laughs> do it again. God, I'm a child. Anyway, the Gorilla Glue um, foams up a bit, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spray it for a while and leave the dry and go out and have a bit of dinner or something. And then I'll put a bit of super glue on the end of the dough. Just to be sure. Just twist it in. To dry over here. Got a little spot for it. Yeah, that's fine. No, this is a big ass block of foam like, and it definitely seems too big for that gun. But well, this is the size I've chosen. That's the size I'm going with. Probably would have been easier to cut it out, uh, to cut it out of a few pieces and glue them together. But that being said, there'll be a lot of seams then I'd have to cover. So with this, there will be no seams. The downfall of not having bandsaw, but we'll make it work. I'm going to have to drill another hole through this thing as well. So that's going there, and that's going there. We're getting there. Right, so <coughs> I went off and I sanded the parts I cut out. So that's kind of like the top part of the barrel. I just cut it out, sanded it up, you can see it there. I can put kind of a ridge on it here because it looks like it has a ridge in the, uh, the pattern and then I kind of thin this bit down a bit and then I sanded this bit as well so it's come together anyway so what I need to do next is uh, this bit that goes on the knee so the plan I think for this one is for now that bit's going in there so that's 20 so I think this needs to be 20 so I'm gonna make the whole thing out of 20 so it'll be two bits of 10. And then I'm gonna wrap a bit of tree, maybe. So that will be, I'll wrap tree around it, that will be 26. So let me see, 26, 26, 6.2. Go underneath it like that and I'd cover the whole lot of it. And slide it in. Try and line it up as best I can. Commit to it. The super glue everywhere, except where I want it. And this one. I'm trying to make this as, I, as parallel as I can to the uh, the dill. Also, must remember to not be tempted to start swinging it around yet until it's tough screw. Stuff's glued in, and if I glue that directly onto another bit, instead of cutting out two bits the same and then trying to line them up, your cuts might be off or something like that. And if I had a bandsaw or, or something, you know, to make these cuts, bandsaw would be perfect. I'd glue the two of them together like that and then cut the two of them together out of the bandsaw, but I don't, so you're going to have to go with, use with what you got, you know. I ordered some new super glue as well. Some uh, water tin stuff, Bob Smith's or something it's called. <laughs> and an accelerator, so I'll uh, hopefully a bit, it'll be dry quicker then. So this bit needs to be 5mm, so I need to cut out two of these 5mm. Messy table. I should be tidy enough as I go. But these are for a letter punch. Technically, they're not really for foam, but they're surprisingly good for foam when you don't have your own circle cutter things. They're not too bad. Yeah. Now the plan is you cut the two holes and then you just cut a straight line between the two of them. And I might, when I'm dremeling down uh, the edges of it, you just get the, the rotary tool out and you can tidy them up with it. Yeah. Tidy up, tidy up, tidy up. 
Okay, we'll go on. So that's going on there. You can see that on the camera. So what I'm gonna have to do is more Dremel work. <coughs> Can't do that tonight. I'm gonna have to Dremel like a a channel in there for this, the bit of wood, and then that will go on top. Hmm. And that would go. I'm not going underneath. That would go. No, that's not right. So. Yeah. So I have another foam uh, gel. No, that's not it. For this middle bit. <coughs> Excuse me. And instead of cutting out the pattern for the middle bit, I'm just going to cut uh, just measure in 10 mil, let's say. So. Instead of measuring it with the ruler, I'm going to use my mat to cut out a couple of ten. I'm going to cut out more than one, cut out a few, and then just pick the best ones. So these are all centimeters. If you line it up as best you can on it, like that, and then go up a centimeter straight down. And this isn't a perfect science, it kind of just works. Put one there, and then one on the other side of it for when this goes on. Run a bit of super glue in it. There's an epoxy super glue left. And then I think I'm going to cut out that bit next because I can't really do much with these till tomorrow. So, me. Matt's time again. So this is all round. And it's 12.5, 36. I'm going to round it down to 36. And I have, if I can cut this in half and then sandwich things between it, I'll have that little round bit at the bottom. So 36, and this is. 29, so I say 20. So I need to wrap it in 5 mil. That would be 25, 1 millimeter off. I, I think I'd be happy with that. And it's, don't tell me it's already exactly the right thing for Stelly. What I'm trying to do is, I really don't know what I'm saying, and I have this dowel, I'm going to try and split it down the middle. And then if I can put each end of it at the end for the round part. Right, like that, and then sandwich stuff in between it, and then wrap it with another bit of foam. And when I wrap it with that foam, I can have these indentations in it, I can put them indentations out. That's the plan, anyway. Take it slowly, try and use the lines that I just drew in, and hopefully, it'll be alright. So, that is so I need to sandwich together three. Three bits of 10 mil. I think I'm doing this right. My brain's not working right now. Yeah, I'm doing it right. Questioning myself, I am. Right, so I think next, I'm gonna get that bit done. So it'll be the front bit here. Going on here, uh, you already cut out pieces. So that's just gonna glue on there. That's gonna glue on there. It's, it's kind of the same size and shape, round. And then I'm going to put skin on the outside of it so I can have these little indentations in it. And then more epoxy dremeling. And then that has to be dremeled. And then I need to gouge out. A bit for this so it's those two bits skin for this bit and then I can paint it and wrap the handle um, I might put in a trigger as well Let's see not a trigger that actually works but a static trigger and again I have this bit over just so I can 
you know, cut it to shape, so it'll be exact. It's always a good practice. So the next bit I have to build is, I don't know if you can see that, I'll, uh, I'll get this and I'll cut it out. So there's these little kind of indentations in this bit, right? So the idea is to cut out, like I'm gonna cut out maybe a bit of two mil, wrap it around it, and then cut these in the case, in, indentations out of the two mil and then they'll show through, if that makes any sense, like. I mean, it's going to be one end to the other, eight centimeters or 800 millimeters. And then this bit is 64 millimeters. And what the plan is to, measure, measure, what we get. So what I want to do, I'm going to take this off. I don't need it just yet. But what I do need, tasty beverage. And again, I'm not worried about the lions not being perfect here because I'm going to try and make them perfect. I can by using the thing to cut out. And you can see that on the camera, but that's the general gist of it. And I'm looking for, I've got a bit of scrap foam here. I don't want to put holes in me ma so <laughs> and then the sharpener up with this bit and then connect the dots and you should have your little indentations Let's see if you pop them out there you go. I have a mask on, gloves on, and the windows open. And I don't like the stink of this stuff. <coughs> right, so we did a lot more uh, sanding off camera. I uh, sanded the edges here, put a bevel on this part, and I sanded in here so I can fit that on here. But I made uh, a balls of the sides of it. I don't know if you can see that, I kind of chopped lumps over by mistake. I think the Dremel was going too fast and I just, you know, chopped it off like. But I'm not worried because I can fix it. I have an idea how to fix it. And then I have this bit here as well, that's going to go on here like that. But I need to drill a hole to the middle of it first. And I'm going to try and be as straight as I can with this because I don't want it to be off. I've marked it off on each side. So I'm gonna try and drill maybe as far as I can get through and then on the other side the same to let the holes line up. Again, if I had a drill press, this would be what you hand here. And now comes the harder bit. True. It's definitely not a uh, like straight, exactly straight. If you look at it down the line, it's not. You look at it upside down, there's bits off. Like, but I mean, it's as perfect as it's gonna get for me, and it's definitely not gonna be screen accurate. And if you're looking for screen accurate, don't come here. So I'm gonna just remove this a bit. Lube this up with maybe a bit of Gorilla Glue and a bit of Super Glue, double whammy. But I'm going to glue this bit on for so I want to contact cement this bit on. Right, so.
straight down the line it's slightly bowed not enough to annoy me and it's researching the gun as well or it's not a gun it's a blaster and this isn't twine at the end of it it's braided hair from a rate which I think is badass that's it for the fabrication you don't need to do anything else not as far as I can tell anyway <gasps> No! Arse! I just noticed the big mistake. Can't fix it either now. Stuck with it. Glued on. Nothing I can do. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I remember thinking to myself when I was doing this, make sure not to do that. And the epoxy did it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Look, these bits go that way. Right, we're all on it. Go that way. I put this on backwards. Should have put it on the other way, so the bits are going inwards. But now they're going that way. May not seem like something massive, but that's gonna annoy the whole out of me. Right, so she's back from plaster dipping. Give uh, two coats. Um, sure on the overhead camera there. Didn't cover the handle very well because it's gonna be wrapped anyway. Um, so the actual gun itself is already um, <coughs> it's already black so I'm just going to paint this bit kind of a ivory kind of white colour and then when it's dry dab it with a bit of gold to give it that kind of uh, translucent kind of look okay and I'm going to glue in three little orbs I have here just for a little colour uh, and then I'm going to silver dry brush it and then I have to wrap the handle I'm going to wrap the handle I'm going to I'm going to have to paint because I only have red string and the string or the, the, the wrap around it isn't red it's kind of a whitey hair colour like so that's the plan anyway these are LEDs that I used before that would die if they died I put too much voltage through them and they popped so Once it's started to wrap, I can I'll fly along with it. Like that'll do for now. Black paint. Now this black paint covered the string, no problem. Tested it already. Right, it's done. Look at that. Here's the other side. I am extremely happy with that. If I was going to make another one, I don't plan to make another one, but if I was ever to make another one, I'd do a few different changes. The, uh, the sight, obviously I made that it wrong at the start and I had to kind of adjust it. It's not, it wasn't a big deal. And then this part here with the lines going that way, instead of that way that really irked me even though it's probably only something simple ultimate test is did that work let's try that again boom <laughs> i am extremely extremely happy that's definitely bigger than it should be um that's the end of the video but i have have something to do i have a super fan and um, his name is James, so I wanted to give a shout out. Wanted to give a shout out to James, James Galvin. He's my one of my best friend's sons, and as far as I know, as far as I've been told, he is obsessed with the channel. And it's good to have fans. I'm happy that I have a little fan like that. So James, this is for you. Glad you like my videos, and there's more to come. Right, that's the end of the video. If you like it. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. If there's anything you think I can build, just slap it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Good luck. Now, 
<laughs> Look at you on the camera, good boy. Well, that scared the shit out of me.